Okay, I'm going to make a video here on um, the, the uh, three versions of Windows XP. In 2003, oh, by the way, I also have a video on the versions of Vista. It should be tagged along with this one somewhere. <coughs> Anyways, in 2002 or 2003, not sure which, if you know, please please don't hesitate to correct me and comment me. I'm, I'm cool with that. So, in 2002 or three, Microsoft released then their latest operating system, uh, Windows XP. And today, it's still the most widely used Windows operating system, and I believe, feel free to correct me again, the most widely used operating system in the world. <clears throat> it's, it's a fantastic operating system, except I like the transparency and the cool little things in Vista a little bit better. So, the first version of uh, Windows XP <coughs> was Windows Home Edition, or XP Home, or Home Edition. It had the home, well, it was stripped down Windows XP. <clears throat> it had what you needed as a home user to pretty much organize your pictures in there, your emails, your word processing, a couple applications, Google Earth, whatever you might run on your computer. Then there was Professional. Most people went for the Professional. <clears throat> All the businesses did. I think it. I think XP Professional is the most widely used system in the world. Um, correct me. Anytime. That's cool. So, anyways, XP Pro had the remote desktop, which allows you to connect to another computer on your network from the computer you're on, which is cool. I think that. I think that had been around, but it was really had the bugs worked out in XP. And XP Pro was great. It was productive. Um, it was stable. It was compatible for the most part after it had been out for a little bit. And then in 2005, just kind of about a year before Vista came out, or maybe a little bit more, XP uh, went Microsoft kind of came back to Windows XP, and they reworked it a little bit. And they called it Windows XP Media Center Edition. 2005. Basically, with Media Center Edition, they had they put in something called Windows Media Center, which is now available in Windows Vista Ultimate, Enterprise, and Home Premium. And it's a place where you can watch online TV if you're on a laptop. Uh, oh, I don't know why Microsoft told me that's the laptop, not the desktop. So I, I I don't know. But then you can organize your pictures, your videos in there. Um, you can record TV if you have the proper inputs on your computer. Record the TV right to the hard drive or some other or, uh, some other drive. And it, it was great. And they changed it a little bit. Instead of the, I think it was the Aqua interface, or am I thinking Mac? Was it Aqua? I'm not totally sure. Interface. Um, Luna. Luna interface. I'm sorry. I think it was the Luna interface. Um, they changed it up a little bit. Instead of being solid blue, I believe it was a little darker on the bottom and a little lighter on the top. I don't know. It, it just looked a little bit better. And I, I can't do it from Vista Ultimate, obviously. But anyways, um, I use um, Media Center 2005 today. It's good with computer co uh, quite re hardware requirements. It's quick, it's productive, and... Um, not as compatible as professional, but it's still very nice, and I like it a lot. So, <clears throat> between all the all the editions of XP, Media Center is home and pro, uh, home and pro put together with the media stuff added. So, Media Center to XP is like Vista Ultimate or Enterprise. By the way, the difference between Ultimate and Enterprise is just the activation or the registration of the product. No feature difference, I, I don't think. Pretty sure there's not any feature difference. But anyways, I would stick with um, either Pro or Media Center. Pro is going to be a little bit more compatible because it's been around longer and it's going to be more recognized. But Media Center looks a little bit better and you have the media stuff if you want that. Or go to Vista, unless you don't have the requirements or you just have heard bad things about Vista. And not all of those are true, because I love Vista, and I've never had, never had a compatibility issue.
I'm saying that right now. Anybody wants to argue me, fine. I've, been, I've never had a compatible, a compatibility issue in Windows Vista. So, so uh, hopefully that can help you, and uh, thank you for watching.